Hello and welcome to this virtual presentation of the University of Connecticut Waterbury campus. My name is Carolyn Freer and I'm the admissions and recruitment manager. I am also a proud UConn grad. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in journalism. We are honored that you have included UConn Waterbury as part of your college selection process. My goal today is to share why UConn Waterbury is the right college choice for you by relaying the unique benefits of our Waterbury location, access to all of UConn's tremendous academic and research opportunities, and the connections of our supportive campus community. During the course of this presentation, we'll review the academic options and support resources, the formation of lasting connections with professors and peers, and the application and admissions process. So as we begin, we'd like to emphasize that UConn Waterbury is UConn, our state's flagship university. Along with our Waterbury campus, UConn is comprised of our main campus and stores and three other regional campuses in Hartford, Avery Point, and Stanford. Students can take classes at any UConn campus and all course credits appear on your official UConn transcript. We are very proud of our close-knit campus community where students develop connections with faculty and in classes that on average seat 26 students. You'll get to know your dedicated professors whose expertise inspires students to select majors that build on your interests and strengths. The Waterbury campus is a reflection of the diversity of our state with students, faculty, and staff from different backgrounds and cultures sharing their diverse viewpoints to inform, challenge, and shape your understanding of the human experience. At UConn Waterbury, you can begin your foundational classes in all majors while connecting with business, city services, and leadership opportunities. Everything you need to get started on your college career you'll find at our convenient downtown location. UConn students choose from 110 plus majors and minors in our 10 schools and colleges. All students take classes in four major content areas, arts and humanities, social sciences, science and technology, and diversity and multiculturalism. Students choose classes within these content areas to acquire critical thinking skills, hands-on understanding of research methodologies, and the relationship of different fields of study across the disciplines. Many of you know exactly what you would like to study at UConn. And if you know your major, you'll be assigned an academic advisor for that program. But for those of you who are still choosing where to focus your energies, we have the Academic Center for Exploratory Students, which is better known as ACES. And that allows you to begin your degree path while still taking time to select a specific major. Most students choose a major by the end of their sophomore year. You have the chances to take so many courses that you haven't had in high school, so keep an open mind and let yourself experience different classes to help find the major that best suits you. Generally, the Waterbury campus's small class sizes are particularly helpful in rigorous courses where you'll receive direct academic support from professors, teaching assistants, and academic advisors. The small class size also helps with the transition from high school to college, which can be challenging. And at UConn Waterbury, we are here to help ensure your success. In addition to the 110 plus major choices, UConn Waterbury also offers nine degree programs that you can complete on this campus. We're very proud that we will start to offer our Allied Health Sciences major as a four-year program this fall, 2020. We also do offer American Studies, Business Administration, Business Data Analytics, English, Human Development and Family Sciences, Psychological Sciences, Urban and Community Studies, and a General Studies program. These majors allow you to pursue your academic interests while taking part in research, internships, or employment opportunities, and saving money. We understand that students are managing multiple priorities and UConn Waterbury structures our programs to be flexible for our students' needs. Our campus community includes students like you who have many college options and choose UConn Waterbury for a variety of reasons and are happy that they did. So students such as Leticia Arujo, who was looking at several schools outside of Connecticut and other schools inside Connecticut, um, but all across a diverse um, option of private and public. And when she finally settled upon the program that she was looking for, that was at UConn. And she did apply and was accepted to our Waterbury campus. And what it came down to was the affordability. Um, her knowing that she could successfully complete her first two years at the Waterbury campus and then campus change to the stores campus meant that she could save money um, and also uh, be successful in setting up herself and taking general education requirements. So 
That is why Letitia chose Yukon Waterbury. And if you ask anyone uh, here at Yukon Waterbury, they will tell you that Dietrich Cohen is a fixture on our campus. He's an urban and community studies major, and he's made the Waterbury community the focus of his academics and social endeavors by making connections between students and faculty and staff and joining multiple organizations and clubs. And Dietrich is a senior this year and has graduated, so we do wish him luck in his further endeavors. In addition to our outstanding faculty, our students receive support from their academic advisors. Advisors meet with students each semester to help them choose courses needed to fulfill major and degree program requirements. Advisors also provide guidance regarding experiential learning opportunities, such as research or internships, as well as how to balance coursework with other responsibilities, such as jobs or caring for family members. Professors hold office hours each week where students can stop by to discuss homework assignments, upcoming exams, career paths, or graduate school options. This is a terrific way for you to get to know your professors, not only for assistance with academics, but also for graduate school, scholarship, and job opportunities. UConn Waterbury's faculty are here to help support your success. Additionally, resources such as our writing and our tutoring centers are where students and staff can assist with laboratory reports or essays, and our library specialists can recommend scholarly publications or books and direct you to online databases that hone in on your specific topic, way better than Google. Additionally, you can take, plan to take part in education abroad, where you can continue to take classes in your major or pursue a special interest. UConn offers education abroad in over 50 countries, and you can go for a semester or during the winter or summer breaks. This is your chance to broaden your horizons. We are fortunate to have 60 full and part-time faculty teaching classes and conducting research on our campus. Our professor's primary focus is teaching, and they are the conduit for you to explore areas of study both in and outside of your major, to connect you to research opportunities and to support your academic growth in the foundational curriculum of, class, of a classic liberal arts and sciences education. Vindia Patharana is one of our full-time faculty. She teaches several different courses and is also a tutor for mathematics. Her students know that she is serious about homework, but if they put in the time, the learning outcomes are significant all the more reason for her to be proud of the students who do well in her class. And Professor Howard Winston, who spent several decades actually working for United Technologies and their research and design unit. Now in his second career as a college professor, he gets to teach students in disciplines like physics and engineering. Professor Winston has often said that he used to work with his head and now he gets to teach with his heart. The city of Waterbury itself is also an extension of your classroom experience. Yukon Waterbury is an easy walk or a short drive away from numerous opportunities. Whether you use the Mattituck Museum on the Waterbury Green to augment a history paper by looking at industry from a bygone era, or speak with the mayor in City Hall about public policy, or shadow a physician at a local hospital, or have a part-time job at Webster Bank or the Palace Theater, these and numerous other Waterbury area businesses and agencies are all conveniently located so that students can extend their learning beyond the classroom and evolve their skill sets to become competitive job candidates. Our Center for Career Development offers resume reviews to present the best you on paper and to identify gaps in your experience so that you can find ways to build a complete applicant profile. Practice interviews allow students to hear the typical questions asked during interviews and craft concise and positive responses. Campus career fairs bring employers to you. Representatives host tables to collect resumes and describe recent job openings. And our Husky Career Link is a tremendous resource online to search hundreds of companies seeking UConn students and graduates. And these are just a sampling of the hundreds of companies that actively recruit UConn Waterbury students for internships and jobs. They provide an opportunity to earn while you learn and network for future careers. College coursework will be the major focus, will, will be your major focus, but learning also comes in the form of campus connections. Our students are active learners and create clubs and organizations that mirror their passions. Associated Student Government works with our student clubs to hold cultural events such as Career or Latin Fest, or organize speakers to address social justice issues such as police profiling or access to clean water. Students can become mentors and meet with middle and high school students to offer advice on handling peer pressure, 
or raise money for worthy causes such as food insecurity or immigration services. So students that are involved, like Delon Harris, who is a senior and a business administration major and accounting minor. During his four years at UConn Waterbury, he's been a student worker and a campus leader due to his involvement in student clubs, such as the Black Student Association. This past fall, the bonfire and movie night hosted in our campus courtyard was a huge success thanks to the members of BSA. And Delon is their president and will be moving on this year, so we do wish him all of the best luck as well. Taylor Wheeler is also heavily involved on campus, having served as an orientation leader for several years. Her work with the members of Osher Lifelong Learning Institute, a grant-funded program for older individuals at UConn Waterbury, augments her studies as a human development and family sciences major, and she's also graduating and earning a second degree in English. Student life is an important part of the UConn Waterbury experience, so we do encourage you to take advantage of what's offered like grabbing a coffee and studying with friends at the university-owned Starbucks in the first floor of our rectory building, which is located directly across the street from our main campus, or apartment-style living directly, directly across the street from campus in the Brown Building, where students are able to live in fully furnished apartments um, with units for four students, um, bathrooms, fully a functional kitchen, living room. Um, so it is a great opportunity for students to live directly across the street from our campus, um, and still take part in many uh, off, uh, off hours opportunities. So how do you become a part of UConn Waterbury? Our application process is straightforward. We accept both the online versions of the Common Application or Coalition application. Both applications include an essay component. The essay serves as a paper interview where we learn about your direct, distinct aspirations and why UConn is your college of choice. So spend time on the essay because it does present the best you to us. Indicate your campus of choice, which would be Waterbury. Apply for December 1st, which is a priority consideration for our honors program and merit-based scholarships, or by January 15th for priority consideration for both the Waterbury and Stores campuses. Our final deadline is May for the Waterbury campus. We do look at your high school transcript for your overall grade point average and the types of classes you took to challenge yourself. Additionally, we want to hear from your teachers, coaches, employers, and ask for two letters of recommendation to support your application to UConn. Our Waterbury Campus SAT average for the incoming class of 2019 was between 1,000 and 1,190, and the average ACT was between 20 and 25. All parts of the application package, which include the application, transcript, letters of recommendation, aptitude test scores, and essay are reviewed to select for admission to UConn Waterbury. We are aware that the investment in your college education requires significant financial resources, and attending UConn Waterbury is one of the wisest ways to ensure a return on your investment. Our students are eligible for financial aid in the forms of scholarships, grants, and loans, as well as on-campus and area employment. Additionally, UConn recently launched a new financial support initiative called the Connecticut Commitment. Students whose families earn less than $50,000 a year are eligible for a tuition waiver. By choosing UConn, you are investing in you and you are worth the investment. Now let's review the next steps to take as an admitted student to UConn Waterbury. Hopefully you've logged into your applicant portal and seen that you have been accepted for fall 2020. On this page, you'll be able to reply to your offer of admission, view your financial aid offer, and also review the admitted student checklist. We encourage students who have been admitted to UConn Waterbury for fall 2020 to reply to their offer of admission as soon as possible, but given the current circumstances, we are extending the deadline to commit until June 1st. So let's review the next steps for admitted students. Number one would be to pay your enrollment deposit of $300. Complete the financial aid process by reviewing and accepting your financial aid award. Once you have committed to UConn Waterbury for the fall semester, we will be sending you information regarding new student orientation and asking you to sign up for an orientation date during which you will register for your fall courses. We also do ask that you submit your student health history form and also submit your final official transcripts from high school and any college credits you may have taken that includes AP scores as well. These are due by the start of the fall semester. 
that concludes our presentation. And of course, if there are any questions that you may have, we do want to point you to the best way to reach our campus. That would be by contacting me. I'm Carolyn Freer, the Admissions and Recruitment Manager. I can be reached at the number below or by email. You can also visit our website, waterbury.ucon.edu, and we do encourage you to follow us on social media. We have our Facebook account, UConn Waterbury Admissions, and our Instagram account, UConn Waterbury. And we have put up several different uh, highlights in our story for our Instagram account, including a virtual campus tour if you'd like to see more pictures of the campus. So as we try to navigate this process during the COVID-19 pandemic, please know that we will be continuing to offer virtual resources like this presentation. Um, but if you do have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to us as soon as possible. And we hope that you will all be Huskies in the future. So thank you and be well.